Hello, my name is Owen Cosgrave and I'm a senior scientist here at Waters. One of my areas of focus is on using UPLC to elucidate glycan heterogeneity. Understanding the function of glycosylation is a challenging area of research due to the inherent complexity in glycan biosynthesis. Stellar products are now available from Waters that greatly assist in determining the structure and function of complex glycoproteins. But before I talk about that, let's consider why glycan analysis is so important to biopharmaceutical characterization. The process of characterizing glycoproteins is a significant analytical challenge due to the complexity of N-linked glycosylated proteins, where post-translational modifications can potentially affect its protein stability, half-life, biological function, and efficacy, to name a few critical product quality attributes. Unlike DNA or protein, glycans can form branch structures and don't follow a template, making them that much more difficult to characterize. When studying glycoproteins, there are several key factors that aid in understanding their ultimate biological function. First, it is always important to understand the number of N-linked and O-linked sites present on a candidate glycoprotein. Second, we need to understand whether or not these sites contain glycans. This speaks to the question of glycan site occupancy. If the site is occupied, how often is it occupied? Finally, it is important to understand what type of variability in glycosylation exists at each site. Ideally, we would like to know all the glycans present on each site, and the relative abundance of each glycan. All of these questions provide critical information that can be used to better understand the biological function of the glycoprotein. In the case of released glycans, we can gain valuable information by characterizing the total glycan pool. The first step in studying glycoproteins is that the glycans must first be removed and labeled in order to be optically detected. After this sample preparation step, suitable column chemistries and detection methods must then be used to separate glycans from one another and detect all glycan species at low levels. The final challenge is how to interpret the data. Ideally, for all peaks separated and detected, glycan structures need to be assigned so that with this knowledge, we can glean critical quality attribute information from that data set. So let's take a look at the analytical solutions and workflows available from Waters. For sample preparation, Waters has recently released Glycoworks, a comprehensive collection of solid phase extraction devices, standards, and consumables that assist with the sample preparation aspects of the release glycan analysis. For separation and detection, Waters has glycan-specific UPLC column chemistries for hydrophilic interaction liquid chromatography, or HILIC for short and instruments including the Quaternary Acuity UPLC H-Class and H-Class Bio, which give you the flexibility to characterize proteins at the intact, peptide, and glycan levels on the same instrument. From UPLC with optical-only fluorescent detection to UPLC with both optical and mass spectrometers, you can achieve the sensitivity and resolution needed for your stage in the biopharmaceutical development. And finally, for data analysis, two important software options, namely Empower and Unify software, aid in turning raw data into usable and informative data. Where Empower 3 is an industry standard, particularly in QC, Unify is a new platform that offers workflows for glycan analysis. With advanced features for glycan peak matching in conjunction with Glucose Unit Database and sophisticated report generation for communicating results, Waters developed Glycobase in collaboration with NIBER, the National Institute for Bioprocessing Research and Training, in Ireland. GU value generation is becoming a de facto standard for confidence in identifying glycan retention times and correlated glycan structures. Glycobase is now available as an integrated library within Unify software. However, let's go back to one of the most important steps in the glycan analysis workflow, sample preparation. Paramount to accurate and informative glycan data is the quality of the labeling starting material. Truly, all downstream steps in separation, processing and reporting rely on the performance of the sample preparation. The procedure for preparing N-linked glycans for analysis can be complicated and variable. Glycoworks helps ease the process of preparing derivatized N-linked glycans by bringing together many of the needed consumables and establishing a standardized approach. The first step in glycan sample prep workflow is to denature, reduce and alkylate the glycoprotein of interest, so that it is made susceptible to enzymatic processing. In the Glycoworks kit, three different reagents for this step are provided, including Rapagest, Dithiothreatol, and Iodocetamide. After this step, the glycoprotein is subjected to deglycosylation with the highly specific enzyme PNGase F, which hydrolyzes the bond between protein and the N-linked glycan. 
This reaction produces a mixture containing the released N glycans as well as the corresponding D glycosylated protein and buffer constituents. These constituents can disrupt subsequent derivatization. Solid phase extraction, or SPE, is therefore employed to purify the glycans out of this potentially problematic matrix. A hill exorbent is used, given that glycans are highly polar. Both high throughput 96 well microelution plates and single use 1cc cartridges are available to achieve these separations. The resulting purified glycans are thereafter derivatized via reductive amination with a fluorescently active molecule such as 2 aminobenzamide or 2AB. Three of the chemical reagents needed for this reaction are provided acetic acid, dimethyl suboxide, and sodium cyanoborohydride. Upon completion of this reaction, the glycans, now fluorescently labeled, are in a mixture with excess reagents. This can potentially interfere with downstream chromatography, reduce the lifetime of the column, and thereby impair method robustness. As a result, we now perform Hillock SPE again to extract the labeled glycans from the labeling solution. This final purification yields a preparation of labeled glycans ready for subsequent analysis, such as a high-resolution Hillock separation with the Waters UPLC BEH glycan column. The Glycoworks kit also includes a control standard, which is preparation of IgG from pooled human serum. Its purpose is to provide a sample that can be used for method confirmation or troubleshooting. In conclusion, in the Glycoworks kit, we've assembled comprehensive tools for glycan sample preparation, including SP devices, reagents, standards, and protocols. This kit has been rigorously optimized and validated by Waters for its ability to produce clean, reliable, and reproducible results in an array of formats. By using the Waters Glycoworks analytical standards together with our application-specific UPLC glycan columns, instrumentation, and software, your ability to identify and characterize complex glycans within a large glycan population is becoming quicker and more achievable than previously considered. For more information, please visit waters.com. I'm Owen Cosgrave from Waters Corporation. Thank you.